Welcome back to more Let's Play Wario Land! I am the Max of Trades, and in the last part we arrived at Rice Beach and I totally tore house I did by Bogarty! And it went out, uh, all, all things considered, pretty dang well for Wario. In this part, we have arrived at Mount Teapot. And, I don't know, I guess we're gonna be getting into even more shenaniganery. Who even knows? Alright, well, what I do know is that this is a bomb, and I'm gonna throw it. I have to see some sort of weird hedgehog creature thing over there, it's like a seahorse hedgehog. Not even sure, uh, like, uh, one of Sonic's, I guess, long-lost friends that he doesn't ever call anymore. You know that's really not very good, considering the amount of friends he has. Like, oh, that's the one he decides to leave behind. Most unfortunate for that guy. But I will ignore them and grab all of the monies. Oh, and I forgot about this. If you fall go down here, you can't actually go back up. Oh, well, at least there's some moolah to be had. That's always good. Just, okay, when I finally decide to go after that coin, that's when it decides to leave. That just about the way. All right, let's try and avoid any and all conflict. Wario is anything if not a pacifist. Of course, that is a lie. He loves to smash people around. It's just how he does. Kind of a thug that way. Let's see. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's have the jet hat on. I mean, I think I can use this underwater, but hey, why risk it? Just do this. Look at Wario. He's flying. He's a flying man. Oh, okay, well, eventually you're going to hit a wall, both figuratively and literally, and you're going to have to just kind of move on with yourself. I ain't gotta set off these bombs. Try not to get hit. That's always good. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Explosions. Everybody loves explosions. And maybe this bomb will take care of that hedgehog. No. All right. I know it's a seahorse, but the spines make me think of of Sanic. Oh boy. He's angry and he's mad and he's going to try and kill me. Not good. Not good at all. Next. Da -da. Let's actually test that out. Oh yes, I actually can. In fact, use the jet helmet down here. For some reason, you can use the dragon and jet hat underwater, which doesn't make any sense because they need fire in order to work, and fire and water have a long history of not really uh, coexisting all that peacefully. I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you guys that, but hey, you never know. All right, da -da -da -da, just moving on, moving on, get away from the bomb! Ugh. Wario, you are an adept swimmer. Also, very good at holding your breath, evidently. Go fig. Let's see, smash those, get some more monies. Look at all the monies we're collecting! Oh, we are going to be able to buy the greatest thing ever. I uh, kind of alluded to it, but that's that's Wario's entire uh, main objective here with this adventure. He lost, he tried to steal Mario's castle and it didn't exactly work, so he's decided to go about find money so he can straight up legitimately purchase his own. Which is pretty darn noble if I do say so myself. I mean, at least noble as far as things Wario typically does. Go, just pop that hole in there, and we should. In theory, yep, we're done here. Fantastic. Things are going absolutely swimmingly. But, uh, yeah, if you want to speed run this game, you gotta keep on to this jet hat. This jet hat makes you walk faster, plus, you can totally kind of break the game and just fly over almost every single stage. It's actually kind of sad. I'm not nearly good enough at video games to pull something like that off, so, yeah, we're not gonna be doing that. But, you know, I will try and utilize things to the best of my ability. Like, look at me, I'm flying over everything. Whee! Eventually it does wear out and you have to land eventually. But if you jump on a head, an enemy's head or something, it immediately resets and you can do it all over again. Uh, you know, you know, same song and dance number. All right, yep, ah, there we go. Take that, weird little bird. That's what you get for messing with Wario, which I guess you actually didn't do. You were just kind of minding your own business and then I stepped on your head. Kind of makes me look like the bad guy, don't it? Well, too bad. Good thing Wario doesn't really care much about his public opinion. I mean, he's got PR people for that. I mean, actually, no, he doesn't. He would never pay. He would never pay somebody for something as worthless as helping his public image. That ain't how the Wario do. The Wario grabs the money and then he runs and he don't give no dams. That's just how he does. Let's see, you just gotta go all the way up here. Watch out for all of these friggin' bomb traps. The second you touch them. Things don't go too well. Now we got pelicans. Pelicans wearing bandanas. What does this world come to when pelicans are wearing bandanas? I tell you. I ask you. I plead to you to ask, to tell me what exactly that's all about. I mean, pelicans can't put on stuff. I mean, they got wings for arms. They don't have hands. How are they going to tie the knot to keep the bandana on there? That means that somebody in just they just decided to apparently put one of these things on their heads. Wow, I really screwed that up. A pirate randomly decided, yeah, you know what I want to do? Put a bandana on a pelican's head. 
There's, there's multiple of them. Does that mean there's just some guy running around putting bandanas on pelicans for no reason? Also, apparently stuffing their craw full of bombs because I ain't no I ain't no avientologist, but I'm pretty sure pelicans don't actually create bombs in their digestive tracts. I'm pretty sure nothing in this. I'm pretty sure nothing in the animal kingdom can do that. Ugh. There is a like a lizard that can shoot blood out of their eyes, so that's pretty cool. You know, if shooting blood out of your eyes is considered cool. I mean, honestly, it seems like a pretty weak defense mechanism. I guess nobody in the animal kingdom really has a perfect defense system. I mean, a skunk can make you smell terrible, but at the same time, I mean, like, oh no, I smell bad, but you know, you can. St I'm still, I'm still capable of killing your skunk, so that doesn't work too well. I mean, a puffer fish. I mean, boof, now I'm really fat and pointy, but, you know, that's not gonna stop certain animals. They're just, they're gonna keep on going. I mean, now I'm a lizard and I shoot blood out of my eyes. Oh, now I'm dying of blood loss. That was, a, that was poorly thought out. So, you know, stuff like that, I suppose. Okay. I should probably get back to actually the game. Oh, talking about animals and how they make enough sense. Oh, life, you so crazy. Whoa, we got the things, guys, and angry things. Woo, there we go. Shoulder charge, a face off. Or your shell off, as the case may be. Whoop! Nope. Sorry. Ain't got time for your hermit crabby ways. Let's see. Anything around here? Nope. Guess not. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Full tile? Fantastic. Grab all of the hearts. I'm not gonna exploit the game to get a whole bunch of lives, but hey, I'll grab as many as I possibly can. You never know when I'm gonna screw things up royally at any conceivable moment. It's very possible. Let's see. Grab that. Let's see. What's inside this wonderful door, I wonder? Oh, checkpoint. I care none for your checkpoints! Wario just goes in head charge, head first, like a crazy person. That's just how he does. Alright, let's see. Lots and lots and lots of more monies. I love having the monies. Let's see. Okay, so I can approach these guys from the front. Good to know. Alright, I'll just place him gently over there, I guess. That wasn't the intent, but there you go, I guess. Boom, shakalaka! And can I put- oh, okay, I was gonna try and hit him again. Did not work. Oh, that's actually something uh, kind of interesting that Wario can do that apparently Mario is completely incapable of. He can actually attack people from below. So while Mario typically has to jump on top of somebody to defeat him, Wario can actually just headbutt them from below, and it seems to be just as effective. Not sure how that works, but, you yeah, know, pretty cool. Pretty cool if I do say so myself. I think the jet hat actually makes my jump higher because I'm pretty sure in my practice goes of, of this level, I've never been able to jump that high naturally. Usually I have the dragon hat at all times. Let's see, do 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 and hello. Alright, well if a, if a treasure chest is gonna make itself super convenient for me immediately, I guess I might as well grab it while I'm here. I mean, why not? There should be an invisible door right here. There we go, fantastic. And now we just gotta bust these things down, grab the key, and toss it over there. If a, hey, if a treasure's gonna make itself immediately obvious to me, I might as well grab it while I can. I mean, why not? It's on second thought, maybe I should just go for the ones I know how to get, and then just go back and get the ones I don't know how to get later. I don't know. Point is, we found a harp thingy, and I think that's actually just treasure number B, or letter B, whatever. So yeah, there you go. Fantastic! And one treasure down, 14 to go, and Wario will be able to buy the mightiest castle of all. What happens if I hit you? A very, very large coin. Okay, ha! Huh. Well, apparently abusing people pays off in dividends. Go figure, I was unaware of this fact. Okay, well, next time you see a block with a face on it, smack the ever-loving hell out of it. Apparently that's just the best thing you could ever do. Take care of business and that's another level down the hole. Look at Wario, he's so happy to be so profitable. Things are just going fantastically for him today. All right, put all that money in the bank. Yeah. Alright, pretty good music for a you know a Game Boy Classic game. Can't say I'm gonna lie on that front. Alright, am I at the very tippity top of Mount Teapot already? This was quite the easily surmountable weird mountain thing. Usually it takes a bit more effort than that. Alright, come on, Mr. Hermit Crab, get out of my way. I've got more important things to do! Whoa! Somehow I didn't lose my power. Weird. Pretty sure I've made jumps much worse than that, or better than that, and screwed it up. Apparently the game just really wants me to keep this jet hat thing going on. Alright, fine, if that's the way you want it, game. I'll, I'm more than happy to use it. It's a useful power. I just prefer the dragon hat. Eh, not the biggest fan of the bull hat. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a fan of crippling over-specialization. 
But if you're gonna if you're gonna have a power, go one way or the other, man. Don't don't take the middle routes. That's the lazy man's way. Be fantastic at one thing, not gr not okay at everything. I mean, I guess that's kind of my philosophy at certain things. It's sort of my username now that I think about it. <laughs> Huh. Alright, well, yes, I'd love to take my dragon hat back now that, I mean, if you're just gonna hand it over to me, why not? Alright, so, did it progressively become nighttime, or have I climbed so high that I'm in space now? I mean, in a, in a Mario Universe-esque game, I'm really willing to believe just about anything. Alright, take care of that. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, come on. Come on, Wart. There we go. Alright, is that really all that's here? Just a checkpoint? I think, oh, well, I suppose there's some monies. Monies are always good. Of course, money doesn't really keep you from not falling into a bottomless hole like a moron. Maybe the jet hat would have been the uh, correct course of action for that. Hmm. Well, live and learn, I suppose. That's fine by me. Just gotta keep on going. Luckily, these levels aren't exactly what I would say really freaking long or anything. So that's why I also don't bother with the checkpoints. It's like, oh no, I kind of have to take a slightly longer route back to where I was initially. It's really not that big a deal. All right, and, 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 um, I'm being covered by all fairy bases. Ah, okay, I was being attacked by two hermit crabs. That is an absolutely absurd amount of hermit crabs. I don't know if you guys know that. All right. All right. Forgot I didn't have the dragon hat on. Unfortunate. But I got it again, so it's all good. Bird! Haha! <laughs> Are hermit crabs edible? I suppose they would be. I mean, just about everything is. I mean, just because you can't, just because you don't, you shouldn't eat something doesn't mean you're physically incapable of it. It just might end terribly for you as a result. So there you go, I guess. All right, smack all those things. Don't want no stinking bull hats. Give me my dragon hat any day. Don't see anything over here. Nope, more hermit crabs to cook. That's always fun, I suppose. And birds to step on, or birds that fly away. Okay, sure. All right, take that weird seahorse hedgehog thing. Uh oh. Ah. ah, ah. There we go. But yeah, the dragon hat, exactly as powerful in the water as it is on land. I don't know, somehow people are going to have to find a way to science that thing up. I suppose it's possible that Wario is actually ex exhaling some form of, of plasma, perhaps? I mean, really, that's the only way it would work in actual physics, but I'm pretty sure we've fully established that Wario doesn't exactly live in a world where things make a whole lot of sense. I mean, I don't know. I suppose there's a certain magic to the fact that we can sort of figure out everything and how exactly everything works in, in real life, but I don't know. I kind of wish magic was a real thing in this universe. It just it just seems like that sort of mysticism and wonder. I don't know. Some people are able to get that sort of feeling from science, but I don't know. That's just not me. Can that man just throw fireballs with my mind? I don't need no scientific explanation for that nonsense. And another level down, and apparently that wasn't even the finish. All right, I guess five levels per world isn't exactly what we're doing here. All right, fine by me, fine by me. Let's just keep on going. Ah, so I see I climbed Mount Teapot just to go back down it. Seems like an equally as good course of action would have been to just, I don't know, walk around the mountain entirely. Imagine we probably would have found just as many gold coins as a result of that than anything else, but... Hey, I'm not the professional treasure hunter Wario is, so this guy, he knows what he's doing, so I'm just gonna take his word for it. Seems like the best possible idea. Plus, do you really want to argue with Wario? Doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, he seems to be the type of guy who ain't too fond of people disagreeing with him. I mean, that's just, that's just my personal opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe I got the guy pegged completely wrong. Who knows? We don't know what he is, what he's like in his private time. I mean, we kind of have a general idea. Sometimes we see that in the WarioWare games, which I would also like to continue Let's Playing. It's been way too long since I played Smooth Move, so I need some old WarioWare all up in this place. All right, let's see here. Whoa, we've got things. Well, I mean, of course we've got things. We always have things, but specifically we had a bird at that moment in time. All right, more doors, thousands of doors. These are very intricate catacombs that we're climbing our way through. I wonder what these were initially here for. Mining, perhaps? It's kind of impossible to know truly for sure, unless this is all just totally geographically natural. I mean, I suppose that's a very real possibility. I guess I got my jet hat back on, because why not? I like having the little extra boost and in, in jump and smackability and whatnot. Actually use that to climb, which is always pretty cool. There we go. The extended jump. Oh, hello. That is a key. 
I would very much like that key. Hang on, how do I get said key? Oh, and there's the door for the treasure for said key. Well, all right. No, come back, key. <laughs> that was not the intent. All right, hang on. I should be able to still do this. I might not have screwed this up. It's possible. It's possible that I haven't screwed this up, guys. I mean, not very possible, but relatively. All right, and okay, that's not good. So I can't use the jet and use the key at the same time. Unfortunate. I actually may have screwed this up. Wouldn't that just be the worst? Hang on, maybe I can get over here? Nope, you definitely need the jet. All right, completely botched that one. Gonna have to come back and fix that later. Okay, well, go me, I suppose. Huh. Okay, well, that was rather embarrassing, I must say. Here's an interesting creature that can only be attacked while it's in the air. You have to hit it in its soft underbelly. It's kind of like the polar opposite of all Mario enemies now that I think about it. All right, how the, how the blithering hell do you work, mate? I don't even want to know. I'm just going to fly over everything. Yep, yeah, let's just do that. I'm sure standing on it is some sort of weird moving platform. Why bother with any of that when you have a jet on your head? I mean, come on, that's just the Wario way. Well, I've collected a star, man, because apparently Mar Wario hasn't hit and, you know, gotten in a co complete and total sense of identity yet, which means we still have a whole large amount of Mario-related things in this area, which is always fun. Pretty sure that's lava. I'm not gonna jump in that. That seems like a terrible idea, but I will jump on all the fool's heads. That's always fun. Oh, so apparently Wario is too heavy for this bridge, but those little weird dudes with bandanas and spears, no, those guys, those guys can walk across those things as long as they want on Pit of Lava. That just seems like, I don't know. I don't know who they're working for. Well, I guess Captain Syrup, but I don't know. Payment benefits, they probably don't get it. And another level down! Fantastic! I could have gotten a treasure, but I didn't, because I'm bad at video games. Fantastic. Alright, well, I'll definitely go back and get that at some point. I ain't got no choice in the matter, really. Okay, let's see. How much further do we have to travel in Mount Teapot, I wonder? Could this be the ending, or could it not be? I do not know! Merely that it is course 12. Okay, now I guess I kind of get the Mount Teapot thing. I mean, well, obviously, durr, it's shaped like a teapot, but it also, I guess, has, like... I mean, that water is clearly bubbling and frothing something fierce, so... I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say maybe standing on that ain't the greatest idea, so... You know, teapots, kettles, they make hot water, hot water. Not too pleasant to the touch. That's usually how that sort of thing works. Right, fly over all these fools, grab all the monies! There we go, fantastic! does make platforming significantly easier when you can just sort of, you know, fly over everything you need to platform. So, I don't know. I don't know if they really thought this this particular power up through all the way when they created it. Like, for example, Andale, Andale, haha. -ha. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay, so maybe I almost screwed that up. Perhaps not my best move. I'm willing to admit this. I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm about to do something stupid. But there you go, that kind of made things generally a little bit easier. Also, now we have ducks with swords! And I just straight up tackled that guy from the front! Didn't even do nothing. Huh, I guess there are several enemies you can attack from the front. I'm so not used to that sort of thing. It's weird. Very, very disconcerting. Alright, come on, yeah, you're slashing around. Use your sword like some kind of boomerang. Ain't nothing weird about that, except everything is weird about that. Ugh. How do you even use a sword as a boomerang? Who do you think you are, He-Man? You ain't the- you ain't the master of the universe! I suppose there were plural masters of the universe. Was Man-at-Arms a master of the universe? And the sorceress? And all those other peoples? I suppose that's possible. And I hit the switch, and apparently that's the end of the level! Oh! A kettle top! Oh, smash down! What exactly has Wario done? Now, I think we're gonna start building a whole lot of pressure here. What we got here on our hands is a little old faithful situation. Building up a crazy geyser up in this place. All right. Oh, looks like, yep, I can finally make some true real deal progress up in here. All right. How Wario knew to do any of this, I'm not entirely sure. But hey, like I said, dude's smarter than he looks. And apparently that thing needs to be turned around entirely before you're able to do anything. Good to know. Wish I knew that ahead of time. All right, ba -ba, there we go. All I've got about with me now is my wits and my jumping ability. I could use a power-up of some description. That would just be the bee's knees. Okay, okay, all right. We've got weird bomb things. I'm not sure what any of this is about. Okay, I'm getting lots of hearts. But uh, unfortunately, this is not the Legend of Flarp and Zelda. So if you could give me a power-up or something, well, that would just make my day. Because right now, I don't know if you noticed, I'm a bit... 
undefended right now. I'm not okay. Another heart. Fan fantastic. I don't. It's not like I don't appreciate the potential extra lives. I do. I really do. It's very kind of you to give me these things, but uh, there are certain times and certain places for these things, and uh, right now is not that time. There we go. See, that's a power up. I'ma want it. I'ma grab it. Got a dragon hat. There. See, now I'm actually capable of surviving the harsh terrains ahead of me. All right. Not sure what that was. Interesting. Only just now did I realize that those guys are... Those blocks have faces. I really never noticed that before. I noticed it when it was the giant one that gave out the 100 coin, but that's because it was just so gigantic, but... All of them do. Weird. I mean, not the breakable ones, obviously, because that would be messed up. But, you know, there you go, I suppose. Yeah, and then you hit them and then they get angry. Huh. Never noticed that before. Wow. And here I pride myself on my observancies. Shows what I know. Oh, oh, oh. My hand slipped off the friggin' button. Unfortunate. Alright, now I don't have my power again. Back to being tiny and useless. Unfortunate. Okay, this appears to have been a dead end. I wonder why I bothered going down this place in the first place. Most unfortunate. Can I just sort of, like, bump into him? Okay, well, I can push him around. Alright, so I suppose you're not completely and totally defenseless as Super Tiny Wario, but certainly not the best position you want to be in. Kind of awesome that the power-ups stay for a while after you uh, after you leave. So that's cool. I see monies. I'm sure that means there's going to be something terrible down here. No, actually there isn't. Huh, weird. All right, find my me. Whoa, Nelly. Well, that guy means serious business by hoodie. Oh, he's following me. He is following me. All right, Wario, you're going to need to smash things a whole lot faster if you want to survive this. Okay, yep, yep. Keep on jumping, keep on jumping. Uh, where exactly am I trying to go? Not sure exactly what's going on here. Just gonna keep on running, hope for the best. Okay, that's clearly a bad idea. Maybe I shouldn't have gone this way. Am I still going to get killed? Possibly, possibly. Don't know for certain. All right, well, this is a door, and it's away from these things, so that's always a plus side on me. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, hello, mister. All right, yeah, take that. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was not... Ex exactly expecting that to go so smoothly, but uh, there you go. Some minutes are he proved to be. Wow, that was kind of sad, all things considered. All right, I suppose I'll make it a uh, tradition to do this after I fight bosses. Let's see, is luck with me tonight? No, as a matter of fact, it is not. And I lose a sizable chunk of my moolahs. Wario is depressed with this turn of events. All right, well, surely lightning won't strike twice. Oh, well, what do you know? It actually didn't. Fantastic. All right, so do I chance getting more or less? That is the big question on everyone's minds. All right, might as well just go whole hog. Yep, yeah, all right, so it looks like I'm leaving this place with just 90 coins. Still, pretty good paycheck, all things considered. I mean, Wario would certainly not agree with me on this. More is always better in his opinion. But hey, sometimes these things just gotta happen. There we go. See, let me look at that, Wario. You know, you, we're only just a little way through the game, and you've, still, you've already got all this stuff. I mean, come on, it's all good. There we go, Mount Teapot has been conquered! Ain't that a big old pile of awesome. And in the next part, Stove Canyon! What kind of craziness will go about here? I can only assume lots and lots of lava, if this is any indication. <laughs> well, hopefully you're looking forward to seeing me fall into that a lot. And uh, you'll join me next time. Hope you guys had a fantastic time, and I'll see you all then.